blustery day here in Trout River, Newfoundland. We're here for a day with the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado. It's kind of nice that it has heated seats because it's pretty cold, but being Newfoundland, we're going to wait about an hour. It's going to get warm enough that we're going to really appreciate the ventilated seats that this top line LTZ has. simple is good. You want to get into the bed of this, there's a step in the bumper, there's a handhold in the rail, you pull yourself up. The Ford F-150 has a, an interesting step that's inside the lift gate and it works quite well but it's a little more complicated. Ram doesn't have anything. When you put this down, you've just got a little piece to step on there and I'm always afraid of slipping down. One thing that Chevrolet has done for 2014, should have been done a long time ago, the tailgate is damp so it doesn't bang, and it's also nicely sprung. It's easy to, to close. I like the fact that the trailer pin is up here where it's easy to reach. You're hooking up your trailer, there it is right there. F-150 still puts it underneath the bumper where it's harder to reach. It gets guck on it from, from road grime, from salt and everything, and you're trying to reach under there. This is a much better idea. are big these days and one of the problems that causes is you're constantly crawling up into it or you're sliding out. Silverado is still a big truck but they've put down the hip point on the seat and so of the three domestic automakers this one is by far the easiest to get into. It's really just like getting into a big car so I'm not crawling up I'm not sliding out and even though that doesn't sound like a big deal, if you're working, you're getting in and out of this truck dozens of times a day, not only does that wear the side of the seat, but it gets old pretty quick. You don't want to be doing that. You want a truck that's easy to get into, easy to get out of, even though it's large. The 14 Silverado comes with a choice of three engines. Right now at launch, the 5.3 liter V8 is the first one out. Then they're going to come out with the V6. And finally, later in the year, you're going to see the 6.2 liter V8. Those displacements probably sound familiar because that's what the 2013 had, but they are completely new engines. Only the displacement is the same. And as one of the engineers said, the carryover parts, you can probably put them in a sandwich bag. They're called Ecotech 3 engines because they have three new technologies. Direct gasoline injection, continuously variable valve timing, and cylinder deactivation. And what that does is when you're not under full load, it will shut off some of the cylinders. And what is unusual on this one is that the V6 also does that. So all three engines will go down to four cylinders when necessary to give you better fuel economy. Now we're in a V8 which normally you'd be hearing a lot of noise and you're just not hearing an awful lot here. Just enough engine growl to let us know that there's something underneath the hood. But this, of the three uh, domestic trucks out right now, I would have to say that this is definitely the quietest. And you don't really appreciate that until you're in a truck and you're working for a full day and you're not getting that, that constant rattling, you're not getting any any road noise. And that's that's something that I think is really under underappreciated in a lot of trucks. When you're in these things for a full day, quiet is nice. Silverado was showing its age. The 2014 now you've got a truck that while it doesn't eclipse the competition it's back firmly in the game. Nice quiet cabin, nice interior. We've been out here, we've been hauling with it, we've been towing with it, we've taken it off-road. You've got the fuel saving technologies that are going to be saving you money. You've got a good ride. 
It handles all of the tasks effortlessly, and while there's never a best truck, there's only a best truck for you, this is one that you should be test driving whenever you're in the market for new wheels.